been a busy period for the Marine Protection and Indemnity Clubs, which have just completed their busiest renewal season. I'm Yvette Essen for AM Best TV and I'm joined by Catherine Thomas, Senior Director of Analytics, to talk about the renewal season and what lies ahead. First of all, the P&I sector is very unique in the way that it operates. Can you briefly describe how it functions and why was February the 20th such an important deadline for companies? Well, the P&I sector is dominated by members of the international group of P&I clubs, which collectively insure approximately 90% of the world's ocean-going tonnage. Now, each of these clubs within the international group are independent, not-for-profit mutual insurers that cover the third-party liabilities of their members in respect of the use and operation of ships. Now, the clubs within the group um, also mutually reinsure each other through the international group pooling arrangement, and they also collectively buy um, a reinsurance cover in the open market. Now, February the 20th is an important um, date for the P&I industry because it is for historical reasons the time when the majority of marine liability business renews. How would you describe the environment in which companies are operating in? Well, the free reserves of clubs within the international group are at a high level bolstered by several years of positive operating results. But at the same time, their ship-owning members are facing um, difficult commercial conditions. And this is putting pressure on prices. And that, together with a challenging claims environment, means that the clubs are struggling to achieve underwriting profitability. Just prior to February the 20th, we did publish a report saying that we expected pricing to come under pressure at that renewal period. Were we correct? Well, yes, and largely for the reasons I've just mentioned. So out of the 13 clubs that are members of the international group, only one applied a general increase um, to their P&I premium rates for the 2019-2020 um, policy year. But having said that, just because um, there weren't uh, widespread general increases, it doesn't mean that rates for poorly performing business didn't increase. And what we're increasingly seeing in the P&I sector is that renewals are driven more now by analysis of individual loss records um, and by individual exposure. Post that important February 20th renewal period, how are companies positioned in our opinion? Well, free reserves have grown in recent years and the sector as a whole is well capitalised with a buffer to absorb performance pressures. But with interest rates still low and equity markets volatile, the clubs really do need to focus and increase their focus on underwriting discipline in order to maintain financial strength. A copy of AMBEST report looking at the P&I sector can be found on AMBEST.com. For AMBEST TV, I'm Yvette Essen.